C-130 Hercules at the Military Boneyard at Davis Monthan Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona. There are around 315 of various C-130 variants such as C-130A, C-130B, C-130E, and C-130H. The C-130 was developed in the early 1950s after the U.S. Air Force realized that the piston engine transports used during the Korean War were inadequate. They needed a rugged, versatile aircraft that could deliver troops and bulky cargo directly to short, unprepared dirt runways near the front lines. The initial production model, the C-130A, entered service with the USAF in December 1956. The C-130's robust airframe was immediately recognized for its adaptability, leading to the development of over 70 different variants for more than 70 countries. The C-130 cemented its reputation during the Vietnam War, performing tactical airlift, air drops, and giving rise to the fearsome AC-130 gunship variant equipped with side-firing cannons for close air support. Over the decades, the C-130 has been modified for nearly every role imaginable. KC-130 Aerial Refueling Tanker, HC-130 Long Range Search and Rescue, LC-130 Ski Equipped Version for Landing on Ice and Snow in the Arctic and Antarctic, WC-130 Hurricane Hunter for Weather Reconnaissance, and MC-130 Special Operations Infiltration and Exfiltration. In 1996, Lockheed Martin introduced the most significant upgrade, the C-130J Super Hercules. This variant features new Rolls-Royce AE2100 D3 turboprop engines with six-bladed composite propellers, a modern digital glass cockpit, and requires a reduced two-person flight crew. It offers increased speed, range, and payload. The C-130 holds the record for the longest continuously produced military aircraft in history, with production continuing to this day well over 70 years after its first flight. The Lockheed C-130 Hercules is arguably the most famous and successful military transport aircraft in aviation history, renowned for its incredible versatility and longevity.